Today I am going to discuss about the topic of fractures and dislocation of upper limbs so before I start my presentation, I would like to all viewers to like share and subscribe my YouTube channel to get the latest update about upcoming videos. So let us start the presentation of fractures and dislocation of upper limb. Shoulder Gridle There are three types. Scapular Fracture Clavicle Fracture Shoulder Dislocation Scapula fracture is a factor of shoulder blade represent an uncommon injury types body neck type 1 non-angulated non-displaced type 2 short and displaced less than 1 cm type 3 angulated less than 40 degree glenoid acromion coracoid. Factors of the scapula through acromion process be coracoid process C neck and D body. Type of classification of non-displaced fracture of the scapula with a stable solder girdle type of injury non-displaced fracture of the glenoid is classified as a one injury with two subtypes of one and a two and non-displaced fracture of the scapular body are categorized as a two injury fracture involving the superior body as a three injury. Type B classification of displaced fracture of the scapula with the stable shoulder griddle type B injury displaced fracture of the glenoid are classified B1 injury with two subtypes B1 and B2 displaced fracture of the scapular body are categorized as B2 injury fractures involving the superior body. As B3 injury radiological definitions of a relevant factor displays are given in the next. Type C classification of the fractures of the scapula with unstable shoulder griddle fracture of the column anatomicum are classified as C1 injury non-displaced fracture of the superior border with unstable shoulder griddle are characterized as C2 injury displaced fracture involving the superior border of the scapula as C3 injury. Scapular fractures. Mechanism of injury. Direct force are usually caused by high energy trauma associated injuries. Pulmonary contusion and pneumothorax 23% clavicle fracture 23% shoulder dislocation rib fracture. Clinical features arm is held a Moby silver bruising over the scapula for the chest. Imaging studies true anterior posterior view true lateral view. Management. Conservative body neck type 1 and acromion a simple mobilization in a sling is sufficient pendulum exercise heal without any problem in about 6 weeks. Complications early neurovascular injuries late osteoarthritis post traumatic arthritis bursitis. Clavicle fracture common factor of all age groups. Classification 80% occur in the middle one-third class of 15% occur in the lateral or distal one-third class B 5% in the middle of proximal one-third class C. Classification class B is further subdivided into two subgroups type 1 coracoclavicular ligament intact type 2 coracoclavicle ligament ruptured. Mechanism of injury fall on an outstretched hand fall on the point of a shoulder blow on the clavicle birth trauma. Clinical features history of trauma following by pain swelling and crepitus inability to rise the shoulder the outer segment displays medially and downwards the inner fragments displays upward. Imaging studies. Routine AP view of the clavicle lordotic view if the fracture is doubtful. Management. Conservative accurate reduction is neither possible nor essential need to support the arm in a sling fig of eight. This is popularly used to encourage shoulder exercise after severe pain subsides. Operative class B2 due to rupture of coracoclavicular ligament neurovascular deficit nonunion cosmetics. Complications. Early life threatening T hemothorax or pneumothorax limbs threatening injuries to subclavian vessel and injury of brachial plexus. Late delayed union and non-union malunion generally left done. Shoulder dislocation head of humerus loses its articular with the glenoid cavity of the scapula. Classification anterior dislocation 98% posterior dislocation 2% inferior the location luxatio erector very rare. Mechanism of injury. Anterior dislocation. Direct blow from the posterior aspect of the shoulder abduction external rotation extension injury. Posterior dislocation direct flow from the anterior aspect of the shoulder internal rotation adduction flexion injury. Clinical feet use of anterior dislocation and posterior dislocation. Imaging studies. 
X-ray anterior posterior view of the shoulder to know the types of dislocation checking the presence or absence of fracture. Management conservative of anterior dislocation and posterior dislocation. Operative. Failed closed reduction soft tissue interposition greater tuberosity fracture displays less than 1 cm. Complications for early and late phase. Thank you for watching my video and for any other information you can message me on my Insta ID first physio.